Hello students, hope we all are doing well. Uh, today in our class we would be learning one new lesson, the fun they had. It's from your beehive text, beehive text, uh, where you will get the fun they had, the very first lesson. Now children, this story is a very light-hearted story. It is set in the future when books and schools as we now know them will perhaps not exist. So how will the children study? Let us explore. Here, as we can find, beautifully has been, it has been displayed that uh, a child is learning through computers. And here is a virtual classroom. Can you see? Yes, this is a virtual classroom where the child is learning through computers. And see here? You can very well relate right now the present scenario where we cannot go to schools and we are learning through uh, computers and internet. Uh, and see here the mechanical teacher, the robotic teacher, the teacher, human teacher being replaced by robotic teacher and uh, moving text. The text uh, that is no longer there printed on books but it has been replaced by moving e-text as we are aware of e-books. It is moving e-text. So this, this is the scenario of the schools of future. Now, uh, children, the story is set in the future. The story is regarding school life and how those children who do not go to school miss school. The setting of the story is in the future when perhaps there will be no school, no books. Now, how those students will miss going to school and will feel that their ancestors, that is the present generation, that is you all, had fun going to school, meeting and helping each other. In the end, we come to know that this is an imagination of a young girl named Margie who comes to know that their ancestors used to go to school. All the children used to study together. She feels that they all had a lot of fun when they went to school. So when we read the story, children, we feel that school life is very good and very, very enjoyable, very charming, very lively. And we are fortunate that we have real schools where we go, meet friends and get a chance to study together. Now we are going to uh, read the text. Please follow. Marchi even wrote about it that night in her diary. On the page, headed 17 May 2157, she wrote, Today Tommy found a real book. So Marchi even wrote about it. So what is the date given children? It's 17 May 2157. So you can very well uh, understand that it's future time. It's much ahead of our time, the present generation. So today Tommy found a real book. So real book no longer exists. It was a very old book. Margie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy, his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. So his grandfather once told him that there was a time when all children used to read books. Books where pages were printed, words were printed on paper. They turned the pages, who? Margie and Tommy, which were yellow. The pages were yellow. Have you seen children, uh, old books getting yellow and crinkly? So the same thing it was. It was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to on a screen, you know. <clears throat> so children, uh, imagine that the way uh, we are studying right now, e-books, learning e-books. Suppose the the words are, are flashed on the computer screen and they are moving. Contrastingly, with a printed book where the words are still and they are not moving. So they are surprised, both Margie and Tommy are surprised to see this. And then when they turn back to the page before, it had the same words on it that it had had when they read it for the first time. So suppose, imagine you are reading a real book and you are on the fifth page. For example, if you want to see the first page, you can easily do that because the words are still there. But on a computer screen, what happens? They are always moving. G said Tommy, what a waste. When you are through with the book, you just throw it away. I guess. 
Our television screen must have had a million books on it and it's good for plenty more. I wouldn't throw it away. So Tony said, what's a waste? It's a waste of time. It's a waste of paper. When you are through with the book, suppose you are through with the book. You have bought a book from a book fair. You have read the book. It's a storybook. You have read it. Now, once you are done with it, one book contains only one novel, one story or three stories, ten stories, fine. After that, you throw it away. I guess a television screen must have had a million books on it. So, see, they are holding a real book on their hand and they are comparing the real book with the e-book, the mechanical. In the mechanical, uh, with, now they, they will be gradually comparing the way they are studying and the way... Uh, the children used to study long back. I Our television screen must have had a million books on it and it's good for plenty more. I wouldn't throw it away. Same with mine, said Margie. She was 11 and hadn't seen as many telebooks as Tommy had. He was 13. So Tommy was 13 years of age and Margie was 11 years of age. She said, where did you find it? So Margie is asking Tommy, Tommy, where did you find the real book? Then Tommy said, in my house. He pointed without looking because he was busy reading. So when we are engrossed uh, with a lesson, uh, what do we do? We don't even uh, feel to look around. So if someone asks us and asks anything to us, then uh, we just uh, don't look at them and uh, answers. So <clears throat> he was very uh, surprised. He was very uh, engrossed with uh, this concept of a real book and he was studying uh, deeply. So he said that without even looking at Margie, he said, see, I have found it in my attic. I was I was busy reading in the attic. What's it about? <clears throat> so uh, Tommy is ask, uh, Margie is asking, Tommy, what is it about? Then Tommy says it's cool. Margie was scornful. School? What is there to write about school? I hate school. So Margie says Margie had been very scornful about school. She did not like school. Margie always hated school. But now she hated it more than ever. So she did not find any good reason to write something, anything on school. What is that? Can school be a subject of any book? The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse. Until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. He was a round little man with a red face and a whole books, box of tools with dials and wares. So see, um, the mechanical teacher, the teacher has become mechanical, mechanical teacher. And human teacher has got replaced with a mechanical teacher. So the mechanical teacher had been giving a test after test in geography. Children, do you also like test after test? You sometimes feel so bored. You lose interest in studying, right? So the same thing happened with Margie. Margie is only 13 years, uh, 11 years of age and Tommy was 13 years of age. So imagine what would be their situation. Margie always hated school, but now she hated it more than ever. The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. So the mother was vexed at her and then uh, she called for the county inspector. What is he supposed to do? He is supposed to solve the problem. How? Now how did, how did it look like? He was a round little man with a red face and a whole box of tools with dials and wares. He smiled at Margie and gave her an apple and then took the teacher apart. So which teacher apart? The mechanical teacher apart. Margie had hoped he would not know how to put it together again. But he knew how all right and after an hour or so, there it was again. So uh, he, she felt little bad that again it will be solved and again it will be coming back to her. So, but he knew how all right and after an hour or so, there it was again, large and black and ugly. So how is she describing the mechanical teacher? It was right. It was large and black and ugly with a big screen on which all the lessons were shown and the questions were asked. That was not so bad. Okay, fine. The part Margie hated most was the slot where she had to put homework and test papers. She always had to write them out in a punch code. They made her learn when she was six years old and 
the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time so children on a in a on a piece of paper you can jot down the points what are the differences that you can face uh, you can understand through this uh, story that the the age that you are in right now the the concept of going to school reading real books uh, pen paper study pen paper test and the the age the, the the generation where margie and tommy are right now in in 21 57 17 may now there the entire concept has changed see what did margie had margie is having a mechanical teacher and uh, she how does she describe it's a large and black and ugly box on a computer screen the the everything has been flashed and uh, what the thing okay fine that was also better but the thing that was that was most you know uh, that she hated the most was the slot where she had to put homework and test papers and she always had to write them out in a punch code they made her learn when she was six years old so since six six years she had been you know uh, uh, busy in this uh, i mean uh, she was uh, obliged she was compelled to do this task and the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time the inspector had smiled after he has he was finished and patted margie's head he said to her mother it's not the little girl's fault mrs jones so what did the county inspector realize that's fine mrs jones it's not uh, little margie's fault it's not the little girl's fault i think the geography sector was geared a little too quick it was far you know above her level so those things happen sometimes i have slowed it up to an average 10 year level so fine since it's machine based learning you can find uh, children you have to understand that there are certain shortcomings there are certain technical uh, technical errors that, that that keep on happening right so it was like that the the level was far uh, above her and i think the geography sector was geared a little too quick those things happen sometimes i have slowed it up to an average 10 year level i think it will be fine so actually the overall pattern of her progress is quite satisfactory and he patted margie's herd again margie was disappointed why why do you think children right so why is she disappointed because because everything has been solved and she has to you know uh, redo it again she had been hoping that uh, they would take the teacher away altogether they had once taken tommy's teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector had blanked out completely so he was she was also very hopeful manji was also very hopeful that once it had happened in tommy's case where the teacher was taken away and uh, manji thought fine so in my case also the teacher would be taken away come please mind it please uh, make it uh, sure that this is mechanical teacher okay fine that is a computer would be taken out from her and uh, she would she she won't be able to she wouldn't have to uh, do the all this uh, test after test right so she said to tommy why would anyone write about school so margie said to tommy why would anyone write about school is it very interesting a subject to be written Tommy looked at her with very superior eyes because it's not our kind of school stupid so it was something very different from our time that that this is why uh, people have written about school this is the old kind of school so there is a comparison always between the new kind of school and the old kind of school right this is the old kind of school that they had hundreds and hundreds of years ago he added loftily loftily means with a superior tone he added loftily pronouncing the word carefully centuries ago so centuries ago he he pronounced it loftily margie was hurt well i don't know what kind of school they had all that time ago she read the book over his shoulder for a while then said anyway they had a teacher so fine so uh, somewhere deep in her heart margie uh, is is expressing a kind of fondness for the school maybe it's not a fondness but some kind of curiosity that what could be that kind of school because very sure she was that uh, to be very sure she she did not uh, enjoy this kind of school that she is presently in uh, having right now uh, she did she is not enjoying is wholeheartedly so she is very curious to know what is what was special about the old kind of school 
anyways they had a teacher so here they had a teacher means it was a man there was there was a teacher and he was a man surely sure they had a teacher but it was not a regular teacher it was a man so who is considered to be a regular teacher here your regular teacher means the mechanical teacher as per their concept they are having a regular teacher but it was a man it was not a regular teacher right like us a man how could a man be a teacher so she is falling from the sky oh my god how a man can be a teacher well he just told the boys and girls things and gave them homework and asked them questions a man isn't smart enough sure he is my father knows as much as my teacher so marji is telling how can a man be a teacher oh my god it's beyond my imagination i cannot imagine a man become a teacher then uh, tommy said yes and you know a man is a smarter teacher my father knows as much as my teacher so here when tommy says my teacher that means he considers the mechanical teacher that is the computer screen and father his father knows as much as his teacher he knows almost as much i bet you here i bet you means i bet you i am sure marchi was not prepared to dispute that she said i would not want a strange man in my house to teach me tommy screamed with laughter you don't know much marji the teachers did not live in the house they had a special building and all the kids went there <laughs> so so children you can imagine that yes we have a special building where every day we come to school and that special building is called school so we are having a very very enjoyable time right now so children who are still hating school please come out of this notion that school is a bad place to go it's 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 a very very beautiful place it's a sacred place. place it's an enjoyable place it's it's a place of utter harmony it's a place of peace where children are coming together we are learning things together there are teachers there are human teachers who are interacting with you we are asking you questions we are sharing with you many things you are sharing with your problems your happiness your sadness everything with your friends so see and all the kids learned the same thing sure if they were at the same age so see the children of same age kids of same age learning the same thing but my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl it teaches and that each kid has to be taught differently so the mother of margie says mother of margie is of this opinion that see a teacher has to uh, teach a child according to his or her age so a teacher has to adjust him or himself or herself according to the age of the child so how can the all the children of the same age can go to the same place and study the same thing all together so that would not be a fruitful learning just the same they did not do it that way then if you don't like it you don't have to read the book i did not say i did not like it marji said quickly so tommy said fine you are having so many problems so you don't have to read this book then um, marji immediately says see i am not telling you tommy that i am not liking this book I did not say I did not like it. Margie said quickly. She wanted to read about those funny schools. So now Margie had a kind of fondness for those schools. They were not even half finished when Margie's mother called Margie. School. Margie looked up. Not yet, Mama. Now said Mrs. Jones, and it's probably time for Tommy too. Maybe he said nonchalantly. Nonchalantly means not showing so much of interest or enthusiasm. Carelessly, it's very carelessly she is telling. Maybe he said nonchalantly. So can I read this? Can I read the book some more with you after school? Margie is asking Tommy. So she is having interest in learning about school. But initially she was telling that what is there to write about school? I hate school because. Because for Margie, the concept of school was something very different. and she did not like that that sitting in a room and learning in front of a computer screen where where words are getting flashed on the computer screen and there is a mechanical teacher she is all alone she has nobody to uh, share her feelings with and she is not have she is not uh, enjoying the process so gradually when tom tommy was uh, relating the, uh, the 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 things about the detail the description about school she had a kind of fondness for school maybe uh, so when Mar margie showed some interest about reading the uh, book about school so 
she said to tommy can i read the book uh, sometime after i come back from school maybe maybe said uh, he said very carelessly he walked away whistling the dusty old book tucked beneath his arm margie went into the school room it was right next to her bedroom as you are having right now then the mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her it was always on at the same time every day except saturday and sunday so it was on all all the same time so see see children see uh, imagine yourself now uh, you are uh, listening to my lecture and you are uh, typing it out typing something and you are in front of computer screen the mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen there was no human teacher because our mother said little girls learn better if they learn at regular hours so fine so uh, every day at some at regular intervals the mechanical teacher was coming to her and flashing some uh, questions some test after test on her screen the screen was lit up and it said today's arithmetic lesson is on the addition of proper fractions please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot so as you remember um, she she once said this that said that she had to uh, write everything in a punch code and in proper slots Margie did not did so with a sigh. She was thinking about the old schools they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. So see the timing. So grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. So at that time she had old schools. That means where children of her age used to go together. They used to play together. They used to share feelings together. They used to learn together, giggle together, learn together, cry together, laugh together. so she used to miss that all the kids from the whole neighborhood came laughing and shouting in the school yard sitting together in the school room going home together at the end of the day they learned the same things so they could help one another with the homework and talk about it so these were the advantages of the old school and the teachers were people so they were also human beings the mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen when we add fractions half and 1/4 marji was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days she was thinking about the fun they had so school going is always fun children i am telling you again and again if you are having this kind of notion that school is boring please come out of that it is even more interesting and even the most interesting thing rather than sitting in front of a computer and flashing getting the lessons flashed on the screen you have no one to enjoy your life with you have no one to play, play with no one to share your uh, feelings with no one to care for you are just confined to a room where you are sitting in front of a computer and you are the, the lessons are flashed on a computer screen everything is very mechanical right so this is how isaac asimov uh try to uh display try to com- uh, bring a comparative study between the old kind of school and the new kind of futuristic schools schools that they they are going to have in future are different okay so more on it uh, on the chapter please read the chapter i would be coming up with the assignments uh, very quickly thank you so much